Hello everyone! Today I wanted to talk about Dawn of Fire because Dawn of Fire is something that has been absent from my channel now for an extraordinarily long piece of time. Now, Dawn of Fire itself hasn't received any updates whatsoever now in absolutely ages. The last Dawn of Fire update was actually four months ago from today. It was released on the 31st of July and it was an update which contained Bicinerus. Now unfortunately we have no idea when the next Dawn of Fire update is but here today I wanted to talk about what we can expect from the next update because I do think that the next update may differ a little compared to other updates that we've had because I feel like it's time that a change is going to come. I don't know though. If we have a look at Dawn of Fire's history, after Congo release we actually went on an eight month six month hiatus after then with no updates whatsoever for literally eight months it was yeah because it was it was April until October. Oh, sorry, it was six months then, wasn't it? Yeah, so it, it, we have waited a very long time now, haven't we, really, for an update? And I just really hope that we're not going on another hiatus here like we did previously. And to be honest, I really do think that if Dawn of Fire is something that perhaps isn't making as much money now and they're having to put resources into it when they're trying to put them into the main game, perhaps Perhaps dropping Dawn of Fire may be the option right now. I'm not saying to destroy the game entirely, but what I'm saying is, yeah, I love Dawn of Fire. I do not want it to end, trust me. But what I'm saying is, if it ends up saving the franchise and it's not making enough money, because obviously it's something is going on in the studio if it's not able to make updates for Dawn of Fire. Like, sure, we've had Fire Oasis and Psychic Island, and obviously that has took quite a while, but also Dawn of Fire seems to be affecting the main game as well with Gobbly God's design literally looking like Dawn of Fire itself, like a Dawn of Fire monster, which really, really was shocking. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't like that. I don't want to see anything like that ever in game again, in the actual original game. And just, you need to separate them artists. And I, don't, I have no idea what's going on in the studio right now. Don't get me wrong, but Gobbly God's design, like I said, was very Dawn of Fire. And it, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if the Dawn of Fire artist did it. And honestly, that's probably the most likely option, isn't it? I mean, come on. You don't just get a Dawn of Fire design out of nowhere. I don't think much. Anyway, anyway, enough of that. On to Dawn of Fire. So the next update for Dawn of Fire, I do think will indeed be another monster. I don't think we will be getting a new island anytime soon in Dawn of Fire. I don't know if we'll get it at all. Like, honestly, I know people think, oh, we'll get the island later and it'll be all good. But this island has now been teased in game for three years. Three years, potentially more. Potentially more, you know. So, uh, you know what? I don't expect it to come. I've lost count of how long it is that we've had this teaser for. It was ever since Party Island came out. That was ages ago. That was absolutely ages ago. So it just comes to show, doesn't it, how much little time is really going into Dawn of Fire now. And it really does show that players perhaps just aren't playing this title as much as the original. So... I mean, if we're going to get more updates in the original, like perhaps just dropping that would be a good idea now. So yeah, it is three years. Three years and one month we've had this tease. I've just looked and oh my god, what? How? Why? Why? Why would we have a teaser for three years and one month? Clearly, they had plans to implement a new island, but these plans were probably tarnished. And now when Mousing and Monsters Live, they're like, oh, the island will come once we've finished all the continent monsters. Okay, but when are you actually going to finish those? Because honestly, I don't think that's ever going to be finished. Because, like, there's, what is there now? I think there's like five, six... Four monsters is there left? I can't remember the exact amount. Is there seven? It's four to seven, I know that much. But anyway, there's not many new monsters to come out, but with the amount that are being released at the moment, it really does make me think, oh, we're not getting an update with the new island at all. But again, that's just what I think. I don't know what you guys think. I just think Town of Fire is going a bit down to bot at the moment. But we'll have to wait and see, won't we? I mean, if it is a new monster, I really do hope they fix the food system at the moment in game because it really isn't that good and the last update really did like honestly like 
Oh dear, I have a lot to complain about, don't I, recently. But I hope you all understand my constructive criticism behind the remarks behind Feast Ember and the lack of updates. I mean, everyone goes on about the lack of updates for Dawn of Fire, like, it's nothing new. But, yes, I know there's been some negativity and I don't really like that, but it is something that is needed, isn't it? We can't always be lovely and happy, unfortunately. And yeah, it's just nice to talk about, isn't it, sometimes? Anyway, other than that, all I have to say about the new island is that the new island could be to do with psychics. Seeing as though we have the psychics now and it looks like purple in the background. Honestly though, who knows? Who knows? Honestly, who knows? Absolutely no idea what this island could be. As Mama in the picture, when Party Island was teased, um, that had a picture of one of the monsters on Party Island. I can't actually remember the name of the monster or what monster it was, but anyway, it had the monster there that was on the island. So, assumably, Mamma was supposed to be on this island before it was tarnished. So, yes, we do know that much. It apparently has Mamma on it if we go by that, but other than that, literally no idea what this island was supposed to be, and we're probably not going to see him anytime soon, so I wouldn't even think about it too heavily, to be honest. And as for the new monster, very exciting. I am very, I love fire monsters so, so much. Like, honestly, it would honestly break my heart if we didn't get Donna Fire updates anymore, but if, if the updates are coming slow, I've, I have a feeling like something is happening in the studio to actually cause this. You wouldn't schedule, as well, if you knew that there were going to be this massive hiatus, you would have lengthened out the waiting time between the Bicinerous and Intersar update and all the updates in general, because like, we got Reedling and Scopes two months after getting another two monsters and that we're all over the place. Why did we get two monsters every update when that just didn't make sense? Like, the scheduling is so for Dawn of Fire. Like, just give us a monster every two months. Like, that six-month hiatus could have been avoided if they would have done one monster every two months instead of two monsters in an update literally further down in the year. Like, I just thought that would make more sense. Anyway, guys. I just want things to be better than what they are now for Dawn of Fire, to be honest. But, unfortunately, I, it doesn't look like it's going to get any better and it's up to be Blue bubble, really, but I'm just putting my opinion out there that perhaps if this isn't something that is helping the company and is something that isn't really profitable for him, and it means that updates are being slowed down and things like that, I just think it maybe it's time to just say either the reason why or just explain that perhaps Dawn of Fire can't be updated anymore because it's getting a bit tedious now. Like, obviously, if it's still being updated, great, but at the moment, we don't even know if it is. Honestly, in the hiatus for Dawn of Fire that we've had so far, literally, we don't even know if it's going to end the game because, I mean, let's be real, we all know it's not as popular as the original so there's always that like conspiracy in the back of the mind is it going to be ending what's going on just a bit of clarification would be nice wouldn't it i mean it goes a long way when a company says what they're doing oh goodness guys I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts about Dawn of Fire and uh, perhaps you share the same thoughts too. Would you like to see the structures on the Earthlands and the Waterlands? Because I sure would, you know, that would really spice things up a bit. If we aren't getting an island, why not add them structures that were supposed to be added? Because clearly some work was done on them. They're on the Mirror Islands, on the Mirror Earth Island and Mirror Water Island, so clearly we were meant to get them somewhere, but it never happened. So if they're in the works, or have been in the works, maybe that's something they could look at adding because that would be absolutely phenomenal and get the game thriving again, slightly. <laughs> Even though we are literally in a dead space with the game right now. Hopefully things get better for Dawn of Fire and it actually doesn't end because I can't believe I said that at the start of the video because I completely regret that now. Oh dear. But it had to be brought up, didn't it? Anyway, guys, I will see you later. Bye, guys. Dip, 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 dip,